What's up guys? Hey, welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. We're going to be doing something today and I should have been doing this a long time ago, but I've decided to show you guys how I'm going to make smoked turkey. And we're going to do a little different. I like flavor mine. It's going to be Cajun smoked turkey with some spices and injection and I'm going to throw a brine in it. Stay tuned. Hey. This turkey it's about a 15 pound turkey I got right here you know you let it thaw out if you, I have to say thaw out you thaw this out in the refrigerator and do it right guys don't never leave these out leave them on the counter to thaw out because as the outer section gets warm that creates bacteria and then everything else is still trying to thaw out on the inside so I let it uh, thaw for about three or four days I would say an hour per pound or hour and a half per pound if so but Three days is what it really kind of took. So it's ready to go. Don't worry, have to worry about drying the chicken skin. Not the chicken, the turkey skin, excuse me. Turkey skin. This is a turkey. So, and it's Thanksgiving time, like I said. So what we like to have? Smoked turkey or fried turkey if you have. So I'm going to do a smoked turkey. This is going to be your basic smoked turkey today. And it's because most people, they just have basic grills like your Weber or maybe you have a UDS um, smoker. Or maybe you have a Traeger or something you have, or you know a Pit Boss, whatever you may have. Um, do it how you want to, but I'm going to brine this. So let's start this off, and this is going to brine overnight. And today I'm using, usually I make my own brines. You know, it's a combination of, if you want to keep it simple, um, culture salt and the sugar combination um, with some fruit and things like that. Onions cut up, throw it in the water, let it sit for a night or two. But my buddy over at Matt Pittman, over at Meat Church, Went on down to Meat Church Barbecue Supply here in Wasahatchee, Texas. Got some of this bird bath. I've been hearing great things about this stuff. It's already pre-mixed. I'm not going to add nothing to it. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to put it in this brainer um, container that I bought on Amazon. Um, think Everybody, you know what? People are talking about, hey, just use a regular bucket. Yeah, you can. And, and that's up to you. But, you know, if your budget allows you to, this is on nothing but $30-something dollars. And the cool thing about this brining bucket, it has a little lid right here, right? And to keep your meats, or if you're making like um, bacon or anything you're trying to um, marinate, it goes down and twists to keep everything under the water so it won't float. So I like that little feature. We're gonna be using this today. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's go get this bird bath opened up. Get that opened up real good. Give it a good smell. I wanna see what it smells like. Mmm. That's got some good, you smell like barbecue rub. So, it smells pretty good. You can see that in there, you can see the color, and show y'all the color of that, what that looks like right there. And what, you're gonna, what we're gonna do, it says, let's see, what does it say, dude? It says, um, for chicken, mix a cup and a half a gallon of water. I don't need chicken for turkey. Mix entire contents with a gallon of water. So, just to let you know, I already have water in this bucket. What I did was, is what you would do with anything, I took the turkey, it's already gonna be wet anyway. I placed it in the bucket. I filled it up with water. And once I got about an inch over the turkey, that's where I kind of mark my line at in the bucket. Then I take the turkey out, let it drain, change my water. And that's where the level goes. The level goes down. So that's gonna be your amount of water. Don't try to put water in this first, unless you got a real big container and then set it in there. It's best to do it when you're doing it in the bucket. Go ahead and get your measurement like that first. So just go and pour the entire contents in here, guys. See that. Oh, wow. That's it. That's all you all have to do, guys. It's already pre-mixed. Meat Church, they got some real good rubs. I love using their rubs. Like I said, nothing wrong with making your own. I do that, but you know, why reinvent the wheel when you don't have to? I mean, they specialize in making rubs and seasoning, so I like using them. You wanna give this a good mix. If you want to, you can heat this up in a big pot, then go ahead and pour it in some water. But guys, I don't need to put any ice in this like um, usually you have to do. I got a refrigerator outside in the garage and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting this in there. I'm gonna let it sit overnight, you know, at least 15 to 24 hours, um, 30 minutes per pound is what I would say the calculation is. 
So we're gonna go ahead and dump this boy in here. This is a uh, butterball turkey. Now, the reason you know it's a butterball, because butterball is known for having that back skin pulled over the legs. It just makes a great presentation when you're smoking it. I'm gonna, let's go ahead and drop this in here. Leave that skin on there. I'm not even gonna cut that off. That's good stuff when it cooked. Put this breast side down in there. I'm gonna press it in there, let that cavity fill up. If I measured right, and I sling it back, it should be, it's trying to float on me. It should be about an inch. You see, it's underwater. Everything's underwater. Go ahead, get your little ring, where it matches slots, and then you turn it to where you want. If I wanna go lower, push lower. And it should get it a good spot, and it's gonna keep it underwater. And that's it, get your gloves off. Don't need those no more, or anymore. And it's got a lid, put the lid on it. Get it sealed, and we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. Come on, baby. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for him. Show him my toys. You see my toys, y'all? You can see it. <laughs> and if, guys, if you notice why the house is different, uh, we just moved a couple months ago, so don't mind the junk in the garage. Got this refrigerator right here. Probably gonna move my rack. And I'm gonna set this joker right there. And this bad boy is sitting until the morning until I'm ready. And we'll be smoking it tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hope you learned something right here. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, it is Sunday morning. Good morning to you. And it's time to put a turkey on the smoker. Hey, it's been sitting in this brine all night. Basically, I put it on maybe about 8 o'clock last night. It is mm, 11.51, okay? So it's going to be about a four-hour cook, maybe four and a half. This turkey is about only about 15 pounds, maybe 15 and a half. And we're going to go ahead and get it out this brine. It's been sitting there. Let's see how it looks. Let's get the little top out like I showed you. Kept the turkey down. And we're going to go ahead and pull this out carefully, not to splash any of that juice everywhere let it drain out the bottom of that little hole little cavity you want to get it all out and no need to rinse this off guys it shouldn't affect anything some people rinse it off after a brine especially if it's real salty you might want to do that but this one uh, i don't ever rinse them off i never had a problem okay so once you got that we're gonna go ahead and put on this little rack i got right here with this pan uh, this right there i help it drain a little better while it's sitting and we're getting the smoker ready. Put that right there, that's gonna look good. Some of the meat has changed colors on it and that's because it's been sitting in that seasoning. Now we're not gonna put the seasoning on right now. We're gonna wait because I wanna put this in the fridge. I want this skin to dry out for about an hour, hour and a half, basically until I got the fire ready and it's ready to go. And we're gonna go ahead and get some paper towels I got right here, help dry some of this skin up to get it started. Get this moisture off of here, pick it up, get the moisture on the bottom, get it between the wings right there. I'm keeping all this skin on, guys. I don't know about you, but I like this skin. I like to pick off of it while it's cooking, um, especially if it's my own. Not if it's, I'm cooking for somebody, but um, I'll probably cut it off, make it a little more presentable. But um, this year, I'm not cooking any turkeys for people. Decided to take a little um, break, not knowing if I was going to have to be on call for work or not. So... Fortunately, I'm not, so I get to do all the cooking I want. So, all right, that's started right there. Got it nice and dry right there. We're gonna set this in the fridge, let it sit, and we're gonna go out there, so let's go ahead and get that smoker started. Mm, this is gonna be good, guys. This is gonna be a lot of flavor. Before we do that, and before we put it on that smoker, I forgot to tell you, I'm gonna do one more step to this, guys. I'm gonna put an injection in here. I'm gonna show you how to make that injection while this is sitting. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we out here at the smoker. I got over here, I got some of this b, b Texas XL Premium Charcoal. These are some big chunks, guys. This is gonna really give me a clean burn. And you want something that's gonna keep this right at 285 to 300 degrees, or I might just, sometimes you can bring it up to 325. You know, the little higher the heat, the better your skin is gonna come out. So I got some of that lump charcoal today. I'm not gonna even use briquettes. 
So also guys, I got a little apple wood right here, some little chunks right here. And the guys over here at in Wasahachie at Lone Star Firewood, I don't know if you can see that, um, they provide some wood out here for your barbecue needs, fire pit needs, um, anything you need for wood, fit, uh, wood they provide it. And um, Andrew and the guy and Mac over at Lone Star Firewood, check them out. If you're in the Wasahachie area or the Dallas Metroplex, check these guys out. They got some good products. And what I picked up is some cherry wood, and I got some oak over there, some post oak. But I'm gonna use a little bit of cherry wood mixed with this little apple wood today. Should give some good flavor, especially for turkey. So let's go ahead and get this opened up right here. Take my little trusty knife. I ain't got time to mess with this string. Let's go ahead and cut that up. Get it open right there. Let's look at these big chunks, guys. Big chunks right here, guys. This is gonna be some good wood right here. Um, not wood, some um, lump charcoal. This is gonna be real good. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this in here, guys. Come over here. Get this poured in. That should be enough right there. Spread that out a little bit. That should give me enough fuel to go ahead and get this started. Especially how big they are. Take this loof lighter right here. Use that. Already getting hot. It takes a couple minutes to get started. And once it gets started, you see how those flames come up? That's all you need right there. Get that started. Get it red hot right there. All right. That looks good. Got my flame started right there. So I'm gonna throw my wood around a little bit. And guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this cyber Q cloud, I got the cyber Q right here, it's got a fan on it. I'm gonna let that control my temperature today. That way I don't have to keep adjusting it. But usually with this Weber Summit, you don't have to do that too much. Throw some of that cherry in there. Some of that smoke going. I want this to have a good smoky flavor right here. Get that all around, throw some in the middle. Let's get that started right there. All right, so once that's going right there, I can unplug that and I'm gonna go ahead, get my cyber Q set up right there. Get our diffuser put on right here. All right, got my diffuser and what that does right here it allows the meat not to burn from the bottom, but the smoke will come up and it'll kind of go over everything like this. Okay. Fan's already blowing. Get my temperature set right here. Let's see. I want to do, I'm going to do 300 today. There we go. And that's set. All right. I'm going to go. We're going to go ahead and put a pan right here for dripping pans. I'll go ahead and put my charcoal grate on. And then a couple minutes after that, maybe about 20 more minutes, we'll go ahead and put this turkey um, on after we inject it inside the house. All right, guys, I've been waiting. You've been waiting this time to put this turkey on. Let's do a few steps before we go out there and put on the smoker. The smoker's already ready. It's at 300, right, and ready to go. So I got a few things here, guys. I got some olive oil. I got some ghee or G, however you may say it. This is um, clarified butter in a spray can. I got some rosemary been growing at home in a little pot. I got some right here in this bowl right here. I got some yellow onion, yellow sweet onion, rosemary, thyme, celery, and uh, like I said, onion and a little olive oil. And I got some of this John Henry's turkey season. This stuff is some good stuff, good rub. I love using this. I'm gonna combine this with some of this um, Holy Voodoo by Meat Church. This is some good rub, guys. You gotta get you some of this. Gotta get you some of that also, but you gotta get you some of this, all right? What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go ahead and see these wings out here. Now, you can put some string on here if you want. You wanna tie it up. You can put it in a turkey rack if you wanna tie it up. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tuck these right here. I'm gonna tuck them right under. All right, get that tucked in right there. All right, that should allow those right there not to burn on the tips, stays on the bottom. 
and that's a good presentation. Second thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, get this all mixed up first, right? Get it all mixed up, put this in the cavity. And before I do that, I'm gonna get this glove off. I'm gonna work with one hand right here. Take some of this John Henry's right here and I'm gonna put it inside. Shake all that in there. All right. Get your seasoning. I like stuff to be seasoned. I don't know about you guys. Put your hand in there and get it rubbed in there real good. Put a little more. All right. Now, the thing about these butter balls, like I said, it has the legs are tucked already under the skin, um, under this back skin, the butt skin is what I call it. Um, and you don't have to worry about tying it up with a string or anything. So it's already presentable. Next thing I'm going to do, guys, before I put those in there, I got a way I make some injection. This is a Cajun injection I make. So what I'm going to do, I got some chicken broth right here. I'm going to put about a cup in there. About a cup. So, so maybe, what that say? Yeah, about a cup in there. I'm not going to need a lot. Put some... This clarified butter, you, you want your butter in there. And that's about a half a cup of clarified butter inside of there, as you see. Secret ingredient, some Zatarain's shrimp and crab boil, guys. This is gonna knock it up a little bit as far as the spice. Gonna get you a whole little bottle right there. And this is a four ounce, a four ounce bottle right there, fluent ounces. Next thing we're gonna do, put you some of that holy voodoo in there for seasoning. That's about a, eh, a little less than a fourth of a cup right there for flavor. Close that up tight. Get all the rest of that, everything that wasn't melted on there. Now I've got, I got that off. Give it a good shake. Take that. Got that my little, Injector right here. Uh oh, got my little injector. Put the little tube in. I love this thing, guys. I'm gonna switch hands for a minute now. You gotta be careful. You don't want this thing falling. So what I do, I'm gonna prime it up, preferably over my sink. Here it come. See all that coming in there? And you're probably asking like, Bruce, how do you get all that out there? I'll, set, I'll soak it in some hot water and soak after I'm finished. So go ahead and find your spot, guys. Right deep in that turkey breast. Hit you one. Think about this. I don't have to keep coming out. Get a couple spots right there. Do the other side. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of holes. Then I wanna go down that turkey breast. Right there. Go ahead and go in the legs, go deep in the legs. Try to go over to the thighs. Okay, I like, put this all over. Go deep into the legs, guys. A little more. Shoot into the thighs on the side. Let me show you kind of what I'm talking about. And I say, put it in the thighs. Go right there in the side. Uh oh. Then you want to do it in your wings, of course. And I'll show you on the other side what I'm doing. Pump those up. This is going to pump a real good. Good. Give me another one. Now, I can do something right here, guys. I can lift the skin up, and I can go right in this turkey, this, this breast. Right there, you see that? Get all that in there. And that should be good to go, guys. If you want to put a little more, you can, but I think that's enough. Ah, maybe a couple more right in the back right there. Because when this comes off, Maybe back in the legs a little more. I want this to be full of flavor. 
All right, that's it. All right, put this right here. Go ahead and throw that in the sink. I'm going to save this for next time. Um, I got another turkey to do in a week, and this butter will be all right with this broth. I'm going to wipe that off, sanitize that, get that cleaned up, put that to the side. All right, so now everything's seasoned inside. Let's go ahead and put your vegetables inside. Get that. Uh-oh. I'm making all kinds of mistakes today, guys. It's going to help that cavity. Put that in that cavity. We'll give it a little flavor while it cooks. Stuff it deep inside. Get all that rosemary. If I would have broke that, wife would have been pissed. I had a big mess to clean up. I would have had to stop the video. All right. So now we got this on here, right? Everything... Looks to be dried off. I don't really need a binder. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this holy voodoo. I'm gonna lift my turkey up. Let me get some of this juice out of here. All right. Hold up, let me dry this off just a little more. Give me a paper towel. All right, make sure Cause this has been sitting in that fridge and this, I want my, my turkey skin to be crisp. I got a little something that, that, that um, clarified butter spray is gonna help it a lot. Okay. Turn it over just like that. We're gonna get the bottom. Do all your wings, do all that back skin right there. You want it nice and even too. That'd be perfect guys. All right, then I'm gonna hit it with some of this Turkey season from John Henry. Cause I love this stuff. Give it about two flavor profiles. I've, I've done this before. I'm not experiment with that. I know that that tastes good. All right, so go ahead and do the other side. And you wanna, let me pick this up cause I wanna do the legs on that side and get between those wings and get between that turkey right, um, breast right there. Do your other side. You might get some rub or something on the on the t um, countertops, but you just clean that off. And make sure, guys, with, with anything with poultry, you want to be very careful. You want to sanitize everything when you're finished. Get under that skin, guys. That's what I like because I want to eat that. Get under that skin. Now let's hit the top. Give it a nice, even shakedown. And the way you do that is you just kind of hover it a little high. Let me do this other side real good. Make sure I'm getting that. Make sure you're getting those wings. Okay. There you go. If you do a little high like that and give a little even shakes, it'll be, it'll look nice when you finish. Okay. All right. Nothing wrong with seasoning. That's seasoned up. Hit this. Now I'm just going to sprinkle the top. I'm not going to get too fancy. I'm just going to give it a little dusting of this. Because my, my, my holy voodoo, I want that to stand out real good. Get that over there. Get that in the front. Did I miss some uh, voodoo in the front? Yes, I did. Okay. And there you go, guys. Look at that right there. Missing some. Are you missing some? All right. That should be fine. I'm not going to worry about that. All right. It's going to have some nice color to it when it's done. So now we're going to go ahead, take this outside. I'm going to leave it on this little rack right here. That way I can take it off when it's done. And stay tuned for that. Change your gloves too. I'm going to stand over here, guys, because we got a real bad glare. So... Hope it doesn't look funny on video, but look, it's time to put it on. It was at 300. I got the lid open, obviously. Some of that beer in that, in that time is already turning a dark color. So let's go ahead and get this turkey right here. Like I said, I got it on the rack. That way I have to touch it that much and mess up anything as far as the rub. Put it right there over that drip pan. Okay. Right there. Now that's gonna ensure it's not gonna burn on the outside edges because it gets hot right here on the edges right here. If you had an um, offset, you know, just try to keep 
everything you don't want to dry out, which is the breast, away from the closest part of the heat. Um, I got this Weber over here, this performer, and I would probably do the minion method, set coals on the other side, and then put this on the opposite of the coals with a trip pan right on the bottom of the rack. So it doesn't matter what you're using. You just don't want to cook, have your heats directly on the bottom. So while that's there, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and get this meat thermometer right here, and I'm going to go ahead and let the CyberQ figure out what my food should, um, let me know what my food is. So, nope, it's beeping because it's trying to tell me something. I'm going to stick it in your thickest part of the breast, which is I'm going to go from here from the bottom, kind of go up on the an angle, and that's going to, that should be good right there. Let me see, make sure this is set on the food. So all I got to do is go down the food, press that, and if, it said 201 because I'm that's that was brisket. Obviously, I don't want that. I want that 165 in the breast. But actually, I'm gonna set it for 160 because at 160, I'm gonna um, go ahead and glaze it, make it um, crispy. Might put a little rib candy on there. Might not. Might and put that clarified butter on there. Depends on what or how I feel how I want to do it. So there we go. Let's get this closed up. That's ready to rock. In about an hour, I'll come check it. Get that opened up on the top because I want to bring, I would let the fan do it, but if I want it on this smoker right here on the um, Summit Charcoal, you can open up the top and then it's going to bring it up very fast. So I'm not going to let y'all watch that. Obviously, you already know what's going to do. Stay tuned for more. Let's go ahead and chill and relax and we'll wait on this um, to see how it's going. All right, guys, so we are still rolling smoke. I'm sitting about 303 a little bit right here. 113 internal, or if you can see it, 305. It's coming up a little hot. I guess another piece of wood is burning. But let's go ahead and bring this up, see how it looks. Now, don't mind the beef sausage. I want a little some snack on. So it's looking good. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. Touch that skin. It's getting a little uh, crispy, it seems. Still got a little bit of liquid in the bottom. I'll probably pour a little more beer in there, um, just a little bit, but, or just don't worry about it. I'm gonna spray it with some of this um, grass-fed cooking spray. It's the G spray, G or she, G, I said she, um, clarified butter. This gonna help um, get the color on this, so I'm shake it up real well. Go and get it, some, just like you're doing a spray can. Spray on the bottom, get the front. All right, turn off. I know, temp's low. Get the outside right here. Get the top. This is gonna help maintain some of that color over here. And that should be good for right now. It's gonna give it a golden brown. I'm gonna go ahead and get this closed back up. Let the temp come back up. Let the smoke hit it some more. Got this, my vents open all the way up. Should come up pretty fast. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give this a check. It's running about 151 internal. Oh yeah, look at that color. I'm gonna give it another spray. Right there on the breast. Try to get the back. The other side, open them out in the way. Get one good sheen across. There it is. Gonna get that closed. There we go. Turn that off. Let it come back up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check it. It's about 161 degrees internal. Let's go ahead and open this, see what we're looking like. Look at that golden brown color, looks good. So I'm gonna check the temp, make sure I'm accurate with the thermal pop right here from Thermal Works. 
So let's check this breast. Oh yeah. Go deep in there. Got a little bit left to go in that side. Let's go a little deeper this way. Okay, so my thermal pop is reading about 154 versus the CyberQ 162. So I think this is getting hot on the outside. I trust the thermal pop more. Let's check the um, dark meat. 156, 160. Yeah, same thing over here on the side. Wings should be about there, 153, you can see. So, right here, I'll leave this in right here. I'll turn that off right there. I, I think that's getting a little hot. It's not accurate. Let's look over here where it's at. Yeah, it's 152. So, this, um, Thermal Works Thermal Pop is more accurate than that right there. I think I'm going to just pull that out. Let me get my glove real quick because, okay, and I'll kind of monitor it with the thermal pop. But what I'm going to do, since it's about 152, 156, I'm going to go and put some of this rib candy on it for a glaze right here. And I'm just going to do it over the top and I'm going to let it kind of, uh-oh, should give it a little glaze on the top. There we go, looking nice. Let's get that all over there. That way it's spread out pretty even. Get it on the wings. Get some more over here on the, on the wings. And I'm not worried guys, because it's in that, the drip pans under there. Get enough so it can spread out. There we go. So that looks good, guys. Probably take your little brush or something. You can spread it out if you want. But all that's going to probably melt all over. It's going to give it a good glaze. Let's put it down and then we'll wait on it. It should be almost done in about 40 minutes. What's up guys, we're finally done. Turkey is ready, been smoked. Started about 1.30, 1.45 p.m. today. It is maybe almost seven o'clock, but it's been resting for at least 20, 25 minutes while I got everything else done. Thought I'd pair it with some of these butter swim biscuits. Got me a nice little drink, got me some Jack. Excuse me while I take a little sip of that. Look at it, it's beautiful. Color is nice crispy skin there's that extra skin down there like I want it let me turn this bird around look at all this juicy well we won't really see if it's juicy until we uh guess what cut it some of, let's cut some of this breast off so best thing to do if you want to you can slice down down like this different slices well what I like to do is just go ahead and cut the whole breast off so I'm gonna cut down this leg right here all right, get that right there. Cut some of the skin in the back. Let's go ahead, remove this leg, because it's gonna be in our way. Cut back here, get it separated, and just let the knife do the work as it wants to fall. Cut through that bone, there it is legs off so we want to get in this breast right here look at that juice coming out of there Ooh man so i want to find down here side of this cartilage that's on the side it's a piece of cartilage that runs through here cut all the way down then you want to come in on the bottom and kind of go up okay find that let's work this knife around here you can use a big knife you can use a small one. Whatever works best for you. Some of this is falling apart, guys. And there's that nice, juicy breast. Look at the moisture in that. Oh, wow. 
tender. See how it just flaps, not dry at all. I want to cut some of this breast right here. Cut through that skin. All right. Nice pieces of breast right there for you to do. Let's look some of it. Let's look at some of this dark meat. So there's some dark meat right here. There's a wing right there. Let's go ahead and take this wing off if we can. Kind of break it if you want. So join it here. And you gotta find it. I think I found it. All right. So even though I had the wings folded, look at still got brown, still got crispy. Look at that juice in there. We're gonna lay that right here. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of this off. I'm not gonna carve the whole thing, but I just wanna get my legs off right there. Find that joint. Kind of hard to do when you're trying to reach around. Juicy breasts, whoo, it's my favorite part, the wings. I do the legs every now and then, but I'm a wing and breast guy. Save some of that crispy skin that came under that neck. And there's some dark meat right here, guys. All I gotta do is cut that off the side right here. Look at that, juice just running out and dripping. That's from that brining, that's from that injection. Got a little dark meat right there. I'll cut some dark meat off this side. So there's a big chunk so you can look at it. And that skin sticks right to there. Good dark meat right there. That's looking good. So all right guys, so you got your, your turkey all done. Here's some of the vegetables if you want them. They're sitting all in there done. Good turkey breast right here. Got your wing, got some dark meat, got some legs. Got your biscuits. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. I'm gonna get these gloves off. Okay. Mmm, which one do I want first? Like I said, I want some of that skin first. Let's see what this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, I'm telling y'all, that rib candy glaze with the spices of that holy voodoo from Meat Church, some of that. Turkey seasoning, I put on there to dust it off, along with the homemade injection I made. That is good. That is some good turkey. I want, I want some of this breast. We're gonna, we're gonna take a piece of that. Take one of these biscuits. Look at that crispy skin right there. Mmm. Mmm. Moist. Try one of these biscuits. I never made these before, but they're yellow and buttery. Okay, I gotta make these for Thanksgiving. Oh my God. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I wanted to get a turkey video in. Haven't, I've been on YouTube for a little while. Been slacking on the videos, but we got moved into a new house, like I said. And now it's time to start it back up. No excuses. Go ahead and try this turkey recipe for Thanksgiving. Leave in the comments how it comes out. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Hope you subscribe, share this video. Stay tuned for more toothpicks. I'm gonna eat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, it's more of that biscuit. This ain't for people on a diet. Not right there.